Uh, you had mentioned that you were actually a fashion designer for a little while. Right. Well, I couldn't, uh, uh, and that's why I, I loved my job back in uh, Belarus. And uh, but um, what was the job find... in Belarus? So I was a fashion designer. You were okay. I didn't know if you started yeah, out that I, way. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have uh, I have masters in fashion design. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I was a fashion designer, and I was. Uh, um, I was uh, working at our, like, uh, because at that time it was still Soviet Union. So mm -hmm. under the guidance, guidance of one, like, fashion center was, like, many factories that will produce uh, uh, garments. Okay. So uh, I was, like, B Belarus at that point was about probably 15 million people. So, but all fashion was, uh, design was developed in one place. Really? Okay. So, yeah. So it was like about uh, uh, 15, 20 people uh, working. Mm -hmm. And so we all, we all had like, I was working with uh, kids clothes and women clothes, but somebody would be working on, uh, on men clothes. Somebody would be working on uh, um, outdoor attire. Like, uh, okay. So... Uh, we all had our own line of clothes to be responsible, but I would do everything from nightgown to wedding uh, dress. Like, <laughs> so it was like wow, <laughs> right? And then, uh, and then uh, those factories that do, do because it, it was for everybody. Like the produce had to be sold in our stores and uh, available for public. Okay. So uh, and. Uh, understanding of boutique store or designer label was not uh, done at that point. Mm -hmm. So, um, but be besides this job, I had, uh, I was running uh, a spread in a fashion magazine, like for teenagers and oh. like uh, doing like uh, what's fashionable this year, how, mm -hmm. how to take a piece of denim, how to rub it, how to uh, do uh, distress with it, and, yeah. and what, what kind of uh, uh, ideas you can do with this. And also, I was developing um, um, outfit, not outfits, but like uh, uh, stage costumes for opera singers, for pop singers. So I, I was like very busy. I loved what I did. Mm -hmm. And so it's not a joke when I'm saying I left a very cool uh, job, like job of my dream, like I and money were really good as well. So when I left it, it's not a joke of uh, I'm not embellishing it. Right. I left yeah. It great. Yes, it was very, very satisfactory. But um, at the same time, uh, living uh, with so much censorship, with uh, there is certain also <clears throat> in terms of relationship between uh, uh, men and women. Mm -hmm. uh, be, like there is, there is so many little and not so little triggers that tells you go. You have to experience the world. You have to experience different understanding how how world uh, works. You know, yeah. it's not only about like just money. Let's say or right. <clears throat> Uh, so and uh, when I came to Canada and I said to myself, okay, it's like a clean slate. Nobody knows me here, right? I didn't have any friends. Mm -hmm. I just like, my, my parents uh, had friends, but nobody knew me. And I said, like, so I can be whatever I want to be, like no childhood luggage, right. nothing. Right. And so, and not, I'm now, I'm not Julia, but I'm Julia. And it's somebody that nobody knows. And even I don't know myself yet. So <laughs> <laughs> let's leave. <laughs> <laughs>